So what happens to your mega hash rate if you try and render a video, which I'm doing, whilst crypto mining with nice hash? So it was 380, it was a 89, now it's dropped to 49. While well, I'm rendering this video in DaVinci Resolve using the CPU, not the GPU, but it will <clears throat> use some of the GPU. Yeah, let's see what the stats are. There we go. Oh, look. Yep, GPU. Ooh, 83 degrees. CPU is toasty. Uh, the memory temperature junction temperatures dropped to 82 from 96. See, the GPU is not changed. Usage. It's the CPU I'm using a lot. It's 83 degrees. That is toasty. 84. So uh, coolant temperature's gone up to from. Go up to 30 from 29, so the fans are ramping up. Oh, yep, the fans are definitely ramping up. Temperatures going up. CPU is running hot. Yeah, so the CPU is under, definitely under load. But crypto mining now, what is it? 50. That's not bad. 50 mega hash rate. That is not bad considering it's under heavy load and powering three screens. But obviously rendering the video is doing a lot of work. Temperature of the 59, there's a 5950X RTX 3080 in this system. And the 3080 is obviously being used to crypto mine. Limits, uh, you see the, in the background, I've been mining in the background, normally get around it. 80 to 8 to 90 mega hash rate but now it's dropped to 50 which is still pretty good considering it's under load and I've limited the wattage to 230 watts 232 watts that it can draw on the GPU so it's about 68% of the RTX 3080 Tufts limit although you can overclock it by 10% as well temperature is pretty cool although it's gone up a little bit because <coughs> the venture resolve is using the gpu but the mega hash rate is being sustained at 52 degrees so even whilst rendering a video i'm getting decent mega hash that's not dropped that much considering what it's doing this is rendering a video. Oh, the temperature 84.5 degrees. Um, this system is slightly overclocked with PBO, although I've lowered the EDC limit a little bit so to prevent temperatures from getting too hot. But it's still it's dropped now. Is it finished? The oh, it's running, it probably run into something uh, during the render. Probably a title. Temperature is still going up, 30.7 degrees. Mega hash rate is climbing, in fact, 54.5. Uh, junction memory is constant at 84. That's the main thing you gotta watch for when all uh, mining that you don't let your junction memory temperature get too high. But since I'm mining in the background, I'm also doing work, so that's the usual graph. Yeah, it does go up to 96 when I'm not doing anything, but when I'm doing something, it drops towards uh, below 90, which is good. Basically, you want to keep, try and keep, you really have to keep it below 100 degrees, try and keep it below 98, which I'm succeeding. But the CPU was again hit something it's rendering yeah oh, it's a constant so the wattage drawn by the CPU was 184 watts at 
while it's doing most of the work. It's finished. Oh, completed. So the render's complete, that's why the average core clock's dropped and temperature's dropped. So the coolant temperature will also start dropping. In fact, it started dropping just now. It'll drop fast. Back to baseline of around well, under 30. And there we go, junction memory temperature's gone back up. That must mean that the nice hash miner is back to 100%. 91.5 mega hash. So only for a few minutes, how long did it take? Five minutes. So for five minutes during the rendering, the mega hash rate dropped around 54 from 90. And it's back up to 90 now. Yeah, and the fans are quietening down now. Oh, 91, 92 mega hash. That is excellent. 400 efficiency. So yes, you can render a video whilst mining in the background. Of, of course, depending on your GPU, this has got an RTX 3080 Tough by ASUS, undervolted, under, underclocked. I'll show you the settings I've got it at. The MSI Afterburner. I'm not using Nice Ashes uh, optimized settings. I would not use the optimized settings. Anyway, do check out the link in the description for Nice Ash if you want to start crypto mining in the background. Like I'm doing, but even video editing and video rendering, you can continue crypto mining in the background. Obviously, I've got a powerful CPU, 5950X. 5950X, that is an excellent CPU, 16 core. So it can do a lot of the work that would be offloaded to the GPU, like rendering. And it still does it in a decent amount of time. Anyway, what's the mega hash rate now? 91.25. That is excellent. That is fantastic. Nearly 400 efficiency. All whilst using this system. I'm still using it, you know, it's not like I've just, it's a mining rig that I've just got sat in the background. I'm doing work on this, got plenty of tabs open across all three screens that are off the same graphics card. And I'm editing videos and I'm rendering videos and it's doing it absolutely fine. Generating a decent return, free money. You know, that converts into a profit after the GPU electric cost of about five pounds per day. That's 150 pounds per month in the background. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you my afterburner settings for the RTX 38 Tough. I've set the power limit to 68%. Uh, cores underclocked by 200, memories overclocked by 620. So yeah, they're, not, they're conservative, those values. Most people could do extremes. But I don't want to put the GPU under unnecessary load. Make sure the junction temperature is 96 or lower, which it will be. And whilst I'm getting a fantastic mega hash rate of 91.3 with Nice Hash, do check out the link in the description for Nice Hash. It, it, it works, the quick miner. Just don't use the, I'd suggest you don't use the optimized settings because that's too aggressive. You stick to your own settings, conservative, to, so you can protect your graphics card from an aggressive nice hash optimizer. Anyway, there you go. Yes, you can edit videos, render videos in the background whilst you're crypto mining, and it doesn't have much impact on your system. Obviously, this took five minutes. I think uh, if I was using the GPU, uh, like I wasn't mining, then it would probably take two and a half minutes. So it roughly takes twice as long with the 5950X than if I'd used the NVIDIA completely to render. It would have been done in half the time. That's the difference. Rendering, half the time. Video editing, uh, there's marginal difference. 
because it does reduce the load on the GPU when you use the GPU. The miner does you reduce the load, that's why the mega hash drops consistently 91.6. This is making we're gonna make more than five pound profit per day. I'm making more than five on that kind of mega hash, it's more like six pound per day just by having it in the background. Well, most of the time I've even forgot that I've got it. Oh yeah, and there's another benefit. See, most time it's just there, gone. Another benefit is this. What do you think it is? Heat. This system it consumes about 400 watts. That generates heat. That means I don't have to have central heating on. on. Outside it's 10 degrees today. In my room it's 22.7. That's another benefit if I have to leave the room or door open. It's a bit too warm. Out of here, it drops to, well, you can see, 18.2. Yeah, the central heating's not on. Just being heated from the sun. It feels a lot cooler out here. So that's another one of the benefits. Free heating, courtesy of nice hash. Crypto mining in the background. To do check out the link in the description. So you too can crypto mine. Let's bring out my crypto mining. There's my dashboard. Got 126 pounds, that's about three weeks. Total, that's total earnings, not profit. £126 in three weeks of crypto mining. Once it gets to 150 I'm going to withdraw it and either spend it or convert it to spend the Bitcoin, buy something with it, or just convert it and transfer it to my bank account. Yeah. So do check out the link in the description for crypto mining with nice hash. And yes, you can edit videos and render videos in the background.